Okay, let's talk about probability. And probability is a huge topic in mathematics. And what I have here is a nice, simple probability problem. Okay, now, of course, I'm going to tell you exactly what the problem is here in a second. But first, let me just um, uh, tell you what probability is, right, or how we measure it. So almost everyone understands this word, has a good sense of it. So like how probable is it going to rain today, right? But uh, probability is actually measured between 0 and 1. And, of course, we, we can express this as percent, so 0 to, like, 100%. So if we want to know the chances of something, uh, that's just another word for probability. So if the probability of uh, rain today is 100%, that means it's absolutely going to happen. And if the probability is a 0 or 0%, zero that means it's absolutely not going to happen. Okay, so I think most of us have a pretty good sense of probability and uh, what it means in kind of the real world. But here's a nice little interesting problem uh, to see that if you can actually do a little bit more involved probability. And this is actually what we call simple probability problems. There's things that are even much more interesting than this. But let me give you the problem, okay? So here we have a dice and here we have a jar of marbles. So what's the probability of you rolling this dice or die and it lands on a six and then over here, you go ahead and pull out of uh, this jar one blue marble. And you can see the jar has different color marbles. We have some blue marbles, yellow marbles, and white marbles. So we want to know what is the probability of um, rolling this die, getting a six, and getting one blue over here. So I'm actually going to give you a couple hints in order to solve this problem. I'm going to give you a couple formulas here in a second, and I'm going to see if you can uh, identify which is the correct formula. And if this video helps you out, don't forget to like and subscribe, as that definitely helps me out. Okay, so let's learn about probability. And this is going to be a nice little problem to really kind of cover a lot of the basic concepts that hopefully you already understand. All right, so here um, are two formulas, two big formulas for uh, simple probability. And I'm just going to show them to you, okay? Uh, one of these formulas is going to be uh, the key to solving this problem, okay? So which one do you think it is, all right? Is it this one or is it this one? Matter of fact, we'll call this one uh, A and we'll call this one B. All right, so go ahead and, and put your vote, cast your vote in to the comment section. Which formula do we need to solve this problem? Okay, so if you said B, B. Well, unfortunately, I have to give you a little sad face. That is incorrect. Okay. Uh, so the answer is A. So if you got that right, that's excellent. All right. So let's go ahead and talk about this. What does this mean, all this uh, stuff here? Well, th when we're talking about probability, this little, uh, this is a typical way of writing a formula. This P right here stands, the pro uh, stands for probability. So it says the probability of two events happening, A and B, okay, so the probability of one event and another event, event A and event B, is equal to the probability of that first event, A, multiplied by the probability of the second event, B, okay? This right here is what we call independent, independent events. I'm going to talk more about that here in a second, but let's go ahead and just talk about this second formula. So this one is the probability of A, of event A, or, notice it's a different, it's not and, it's or, B, okay? So the probability of A or B is the probability of A, which is that first event, plus, okay, the probability, oh, this should be AB. Let me go ahead and correct that now. See that? Even I make mistakes. Uh, actually, I make a lot of them, but I like to correct them uh, before I actually uh, do these uh, type of videos. But anyways, there you go. Real life math in action. OK, so this right here is what we call mutually exclusive events. All right. Now, let's talk a little bit more about this. We're going to need this um, particular formula to solve this problem. But independent events is this. OK, we've got two things going on. The probability of one thing it does not affect the probability of the second thing. So let's go up here real quick and discuss this. So here's the thing, right? If the probability of me getting a six on this uh, roll of a die, is this going to have any influence, any bearing on me going over here and trying to uh, pull out one blue marble out of this jar? Okay. 
No, these are completely independent events, all right? So this won't have any bearings on the outcome of this uh, event. So this is what we call independent events, okay? So this is the uh, formula for independent events when we're talking about probability. Now, mutually exclusive events, this is uh, different, all right? Uh, mutually exclusive means that two things cannot happen um, at the same time or simultaneously, basically. Okay, so basically it would be like, what's the probability of you turning left or right? Like if you're driving your car, right? What's the probability of you turning left and right? Excuse me, left and right. Okay, well, it can't, that's impossible, right? You can't say, well, what's the probability of you walking forward and backwards? Well, those are mutually exclusive. Okay, so you, when you come, uh, when you're dealing with those type of situations, uh, more interesting type of problems, you have to be able to recognize, oh, these, this is a mutually exclusive event problem, and you would have to use this particular formula. But you always ask yourself, hey, does, um, when you're talking about probability, does one uh, event have any bearing over the second event or other and another event? If it doesn't, that's independent events. Okay, so now that you know the formula, I'm going to go ahead and give you an opportunity to solve the problem problem okay so I was nice enough to give you the formula and explain it so here it is okay so we want to know uh, if we're going to roll this die okay that we're going to get a six and then we're going to get a blue over here out of this jar so I'll just kind of count these up so we have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen we have thirteen uh, marbles we call these uh, marbles or that's what they're shy I don't know if I uh, I told you there are marbles, but that's what they are. So we have 13 marbles and we have how many blues? We have one, two, three. We have four blues. We have one, two, three, uh, four uh, yellows. And then that leaves us with a course of five uh, whites. Okay. So a total of 13. So uh, we have four blues, four yellows, and five whites, 13 marbles in total. And then here is a die. Hopefully all of you have... Uh, you know, played some sort of game on here. This goes up to six. So you have to think about how many sides this has, right? If we want to roll six, we want this thing to, to show up. One, two, three, four. It would be like this, right? So if you played, you know, any game with a die, which there's a ton of them out there, this is the highest number on this. So, of course, we go from one, we go two, we go three, etc. cetera. So uh, anyways, I don't want to give away too much because I want you to think about this. All right, so uh, now that I've kind of given you more than enough hints, hopefully you can figure this problem out. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and show you the solution. So if you wanna work on this a little bit more, pause the video, but let's go ahead and get into it right now. Okay, so here, the first thing we need to do is figure out what the probabilities of these individual events occurring, okay? And the way you would wanna write this is this. So we can write it this way. What's the probability of getting a six and out of this situation? Well, there's only one way, okay? So the probability of a simple e event occurring, uh, the number of ways that event can happen, okay, over the total number of possibilities. I'm using just this uh, real rough um, uh, abbreviations here, but that's the definition of, prob of a probability of a simple event. And, you know, thinking about this, I probably wanted to maybe highlight this a little bit more. I guess I'm kind of assuming you understand basic, basic probability, but let me go ahead and just explain this a little bit more, okay? So the probability that we get a six, if I roll the die, there's only one way that can happen because there's only one six on here. But how many total possible events can show up? Well, I can get one, two, three, four, five, and six. So six is the total number of um, uh, possible events. Then the number of ways that what I want to happen or I'm looking for, there's only one way that can happen. So the probability of us getting a six here is one six. Okay, so now let's go ahead and talk about getting a blue out of this jar. So the probability of getting a blue well, how many ways can I get a blue out of this jar? Well, there is one, two, three, four. So there's four possible uh, ways I can get a blue out of this jar. I could grab that one or grab that one, that one, or that way, or that one there, okay, right? So there's four possible 
uh, or there's four different ways I can get a blue out of this jar. And uh, uh, there are a total of 13 marbles. So there's 13 possible different outcomes. So the probability of getting a blue is four out of 13. Okay, so if you got uh, this right and this right, that's very, very good. And now let's go ahead and put this all together. All right, so again, our formula is what's the probability of A and B happening? Okay, so i.e. what's the probability of uh, getting a uh, six on the die and getting a blue out of that jar? It's the probability of A, that first event, times the probability of the second event. So we can write this this way, probability of rolling a six and getting one blue uh, is equal to one out of six, right? That's the, uh, the roll of the die. And then uh, to get one blue out of that jar, we had a probability of four out of 13. And now we just multiply these fractions. So two goes into four, uh, four uh, two goes into four, two, two goes into six, three. So I can just multiply across, do a little cross canceling, and you end up with the fraction two over 39. Now, if you need additional help in algebra, check out these courses right here. So pre-algebra is uh, for those of you that are studying basic algebra. But uh, if you are further along in mathematics, then you may want to check out my Algebra 1 or Algebra 2 courses. Now, my Math Skills Rebuilder course is a review course. I cover basic math, algebra, and geometry in this course. I'm going to leave links to all these courses in the description of this video. All right, so with all that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your math adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.